everyone, this is Sasha, aka your frugal friend, and today I'm going to be talking about a really amazing new AI chatbot feature that Google has added to their search engine. It's amazing. I love it. I've been using it to look up new and trending product ideas for my Etsy shop and just for my business in general. Uh, if you don't know me, I am a top 1% seller on Etsy. I'm a course creator and I help digital product sellers level up their business and make more money. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe now so that you can get all of my newest videos on AI, on leveling up your online business, design, everything related to making and selling digital products. Also, I have a link uh, in the description for this video to join my email list. I give you all the newest product updates and information to those who are on my email list. So make sure that you subscribe so you get all of that amazing and informational uh, content. It's perfect for anyone who wants to level up their online business. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so this feature has been hiding in plain sight since May of 2023. I did notice, uh, I stumbled upon it yesterday and I've been playing around with it and it's really, really great. I've been looking at things to create for my business and stuff like that. I wanted to share it with you so you could also use it and you know add it to your AI um, product research uh, system or flow that you have, if you have one at all, I do. And so I highly recommend doing that. So this little um, <laughs> beaker, I guess, up here has been up there for a little while and I noticed it. I clicked on it, I mean, I looked at it and I said, okay, search labs. So that is like the artificial intelligence arm of Google that they launched and they just brought up in the last uh, few months. And so they are now trying to create their own competitive chatbot tool and who better to do it than Google who has their own data to source for this tool and I was reading about it and how it works after I added it and started playing with it and I I was reading about how it uses uh, the search data from Google and how it uses the cleanest and the best and highest ranked data. So it's not going to be grabbing data from the dark web or anything to give you. It will give you stuff that's not shocking, stuff that's not relevant, stuff that is um, highly curated as it does when it gives you a search result for any time you put a query into here to find information. So how do you turn this on to be able to use it? So you have to click on little beaker here and then you click on SGE. And so SGE Google is the name of this tool. It is search generation experience is what SGE stands for. So you're going to want to toggle that on, toggle it on, and then it'll be on for search. So we can go back to search and then we can start playing around with this tool. So you could do something like I do and you could say, you know, trending, uh, printable product ideas to sell on Etsy. You can just type that in and then you can see here that it's generating information. So it's generating here. Generative AI is experimental. Info quality may vary. So if you read the documentation on this, and I'll link to that um, in the description for this video too, it's a really great little guide about how it works, what language models it uses, all of the, the uh, detailed technical information. Um, it's really, really, it's really informative because you start to learn more about this tool, their approach to it, and why they created it. And so... Uh, these are some popular product, printable products to sell on Etsy. So they give you lots of ideas. But what I love about this tool is that it's giving you the source data for the results, which is something that tools like ChatGPT and Jasper does not do. So I've, you know, read from people who've said, uh, I'm not sure if I can trust the data from ChatGPT. Is it just making it up? And so <laughs> if it's not giving you the source, then you don't know. Also, this is giving you the source data so that you can verify the data to make sure that it is current and relevant to what you're searching and you can validate it for yourself. Like, is this a website that you trust? Um, are they experts in this niche? And all of those things. So this is giving me um, ideas and 
uh, what you can do now. And also what I like about this is the data from ChatGPT. If you're trying to look for 10 digital products ideas uh, to sell on Etsy from ChatGPT, ChatGPT will only give you data up to September 2021. So this means that the data isn't trending data. And who better to present you with trending data than Google itself, the literal search engine that everyone uses to, um, to get current relevant information. And so that's why this is really, really amazing because it's giving you new and current information for your search. So then this is just what shows when you're doing your initial search, but then you can do ask a follow-up. And this is really cool because then it turns into the same kind of interface um, that ChatGPT is. So you can ask follow-up questions. And what it also does is it suggests related uh, questions that you can have, you can ask it. So you can click on this and you can click on these. And this is what, uh, you know, if you do a search in Google, it'll say, uh, questions other people search for are related questions to this search and that's what this data is but this is giving you the information um, in more of a conversational way like chat GPT does and that's why I really like this so you can get these ideas and you can say okay these are the sources of data like insight factory I'll, I know the I'm an expert in this field so I know that insight factory here uh, 25k best selling pearls this is one of my favorite keyword research tools insight insight factory for um for doing keyword research market research product research to sell products on Etsy like this is my number one tool Growing your craft. This is growing your craft. This is a very good website on how to make um, money on Etsy. They have a lot of good uh, articles, and I would say that they're an expert. Gold City Ventures. They have a course on how to make money uh, selling printables on Etsy. So they are definitely an expert in this niche. And then growing your craft again. And then um, Smart Money Mamas. They are yet another expert in the passive income making money online niche. And they um, interview people like uh, Julie from Gold City Ventures for their articles. So these are people, these are all experts in this niche of popular printable products to sell on Etsy. So these are the sources of the data and you can validate it for yourself and even go to those websites and look up the ideas from there. So then you can also ask a follow-up question. So let's say that you have some unique printables to sell on Etsy include. Uh, there's uh, business cards, crochet or knitting patterns, sewing patterns and instructions, flashcards or teaching materials, SVG graphics, coloring pages, worksheets or activity books. So I could say, um, what are some worksheets I can sell on Etsy? And then it's going to give you more ideas. It'll give you videos to help you. It's going to give you um, more, more of these, uh, these, the articles from above and you can click on there and get more data and you're getting the source data from actual validated sources of information. And this is really good for product research. Uh, it's, it's just really great. It's just giving you ideas and all this stuff from experts in, in the field. Now, Nancy Badillo, she's an expert, all of these people. So then even Etsy itself, you can click on Etsy and it's going to give you uh, their top searches for worksheets. So these are all products that are ranking on the first page of search for the word worksheet. And so you can go to, um, you can go to this and just say, okay, who's ranking on the first page of search for the word worksheet. And this helps you to get ideas of the types of products that are listing for the word worksheet for on Etsy itself. And then you can also take it a step further and use a keyword research tool such as Insight Factory, which is what I do. And then you can um, wait for it to load. And then you can go to Dashboard and you can type in the word worksheet under the Etsy keyword research area. And then you can get ideas of what's selling right now. And that's why I like this tool for, um, for my keyword research and product research on Etsy is because they're giving you seven day sales data. As you can see here, I'll link to this tool in the, in the description for this video too, but this is just for the word worksheet. 
and you can easily see what's ranking for worksheet and then i'm like oh my god i'm interested in this because it's a one page product it looks like super easy tracing worksheet for kids i actually have a course that teaches you how to make a product like this and i'll link to that in the product i mean in the description for this video too if you're interested in making something like this but we could see because we were doing that sold 56 times in the last seven days and so that's really great for a one page simple product um so you can uh, go here, you can go back to your search, and that just gives you an idea because you're like, this is current relevant data. It's giving me ideas, coloring pages, business card templates, whatever you want to make. And then you can also click on their recommended searches, and it's going to give you more ideas. So then it's going to um, give you uh, all these different the uh, search results down here from validated and verified data sources and I just really like it it's really really good um, jumping off point for this and then you can click on these websites you can click down here it gives you the source data and you can get more information and so I was gonna I'll give you an um, a example of why this is good for getting relevant and current information is um, is you can go to ChatGPT and you can see, and you can do the search, and you can say, you know, um, what is Jasper AI used for? So I know that Jasper AI is a tool that was created after Chat uh, ChatGPT's source data kind of ends. So it says, as of my last knowledge update of September 2021, Jasper AI was not widely recognized or established term in the field of artificial intelligence or technology. It's possible that there's been developments or new technologies introduced. So it's saying, I don't know. <laughs> That's a fancy way of saying, I just don't know what this is. It's a thing I've heard of, but I don't know anything about it because it became popular after and more more current uh the data for it that's current and relevant to you doesn't exist in my system so then you can go to the google tool and say what is jasper ai used for okay so i had to refresh it to get it to come back and there it is so then we have Jasper AI is an artificial intelligence writing tool that can be used for content creation. It's showing the source data. It's giving you a lot more information. It does blog posts, landing pages, social media, all this stuff. So you can take this current information and use it more for whatever you're trying to do. Um, like let's say you're writing a blog, po blog post about Jasper AI. Well, this is gonna give you all the up-to-date information for that that you can use to create relevant and um, fact-verified uh, content with. So this is an ex extremely useful tool. I highly recommend checking it out and using it for your business and let me know how you use it for your personal use or for your business in, in the comment section below this video.